Everyone who's anyone in the electronics industry comes to the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Every January, this trade fair transforms the capital of entertainment into Tech Town. The CES presents the state of the art. Reporter Reinhold Deisenhofer lists the hot topics at this year's CES. Television sets, cameras, smartphones, mobile phone cases, drones, and video games. But all the big car makers are here too. One of their main areas of focus is networking between car and driver, driver and internet, and internet and car. None of the big name brands would miss the show in Las Vegas, but unfortunately for the public, the CES is only open to industry professionals. Workshops introduce the pros to all the latest innovations. Reinhold points out one of the biggest new technologies at the 2015 CES automated driving. It can help navigate a parking garage, for instance. In European garages of the 1950s and 60s, for example, the small parking spots were designed for the small cars of the time. These days, parking a big modern car in an old parking garage like that is quite the challenge. But this BMW i3 does it all on its own, with laser sensors, as you can see on this concept car. Laser sensors are much faster than ultrasound sensors, and they can measure gaps down to five centimeters so this automobile can park itself all controlled via this stylish smartwatch at the press of a button the BMW i3 sets off without a driver four laser scanners read in the car's immediate environment and render it digitally the fully automated remote valet parking assistant combines the data with a digital floor plan of the garage, guiding the i3 to an open parking spot and easing it in. Audi's new jack isn't a tool to lift the car. It's an A7 Sportback. And at least on the highway, it almost drives itself. To prove it, Audi let it drive from Stanford to Las Vegas. It covered the 900 kilometers in two days. For much of the stretch, the driver was basically a passenger. The jack did the driving, even passing and merging on its own at speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour. That's the highway speed limit. But for driving in town, a human has to take the wheel again. Ulrich Hackenberg of Audi points out that it doesn't need specially digitalized roads. It makes use of satellite navigation and sensors. Covering a distance like that was a major step forward for self-driving cars. And Audi is proud of its achievement. It shows how far they've come with this technology. As its name implies, the F-015 is a research vehicle. Its electric drive is entirely zero emissions, of course, and its steering is automated. This is Mercedes' vision for the future of mobility. Dieter Zetsche of Daimler says the urbanized world of the future will be even more fast-paced. That's why Daimler calls this luxury in motion. Passengers can work, relax and chat while moving from A to B, from home to the office for instance. The car is a third space where people can do all sorts of things and travel from A to B in safety. Reinhold says another big topic at the CES is inductive charging, which dispenses with the cable. Many people are fed up with having to drag the cables out of the trunk and connecting them. And cables can get stiff in the winter. Inductive charging solves those problems. The car drives over a plate. The more accurately the better, because recharging efficiency increases when the induction plates are close together. In the Golf, a blinker indicates connection strength. It blinks rapidly when the car doesn't have much power left, and slowly when the car is almost fully charged. And there's an automated option too. Then the car drives itself onto the correct spot over the plate.